studying abroad, which seem to be a trend now amongst the youth. It seems like everyone is looking for a way to go abroad. So if you try permanent residency is not working, the next option is to go as a visitor. And maybe when your visa expires, you go and declare asylum. Oh, if that doesn't work, you're looking for admission. It's one thing or the other. But there are also a lot of people who are not looking for this as a means of just relocating. They really want to get in educated. Well, this trend is what we're talking about. Today, we'll be talking about studying abroad, counting the cost. I have a professor who is um, a lecturer at the University of Benin here, but at the same time, he also got schooled in one of the universities in Russia. So he can help us balance between the studying abroad and, of course, in Nigeria here. And a lot of people who have looked for admission and they've not been able to secure it, maybe they've tried a couple of times or they're looking for a scholarship, they've run into depression of some sort because you pay application fees for these schools and so they're feeling depressed. We have a video for you first before you meet my guest and that video is on depression just to help you get out of that before we talk a bit about um, first start talking about studying abroad counts and the cost we'll quickly play that video and when we return you will meet my guests and we'll get talking there are many times in the course of life that you may feel overwhelmed and distraught it is actually healthy to feel down from time to time. If not, you wouldn't be a human being. But when that feeling of being down begins to stick around longer than a couple of weeks, you might be suffering from a more serious condition known as clinical depression. Well, if you're experiencing a bout of depression, don't feel alone. Mental health expert says at least 30 million people deal with mild depression every year. But before we get to the home remedies for depression, let's learn a little bit more about the condition. Depression can be genetic, that is, from parents to offsprings. It can be from major stress like from losing someone, medications like birth control pills, hormonal changes like after childbirth or during menstruation. Depression generally isn't a disorder that you can treat on your own. But in addition to professional treatment, these self-care steps can help restore your balance. The first thing to know is to learn about depression. Education about your condition can empower you and motivate you to stick to your treatment plan. You also have to encourage your family to learn about depression to help them understand and be more supportive of you when you are depressed. Another thing is to pay attention to warning signs. You have to work with a doctor or a therapist to learn what might trigger your depression symptoms. Make a plan so you know what to do if your symptoms get worse. Some of these signs include guilt, irritability, sadness, anger, loss of appetite, and weight loss. In helping to combat depression, you have to get exercise. Physical activity reduces depression symptoms. Consider working, jogging, and swimming gardening, dancing, or taking up any activity that you enjoy doing. Another way to self-care for depression is to avoid alcohol and illegal drugs. It may seem like alcohol or drug lessen depression symptoms, but in the long run, they generally worsen symptoms and make depression harder to treat. So, talk with your doctor or therapist if you need help with alcohol or substance abuse. Get plenty of sleep. Sleeping well is important for both your physical and mental well-being. If you're having trouble sleeping, talk to a doctor about what you can do. You can also take warm milk and honey. It helps. When you are depressed, you should try to focus on friends and family. Leaning on others is one of the healthiest things you can do to get through a tough time in your life. You can't make it on your own. You need others to survive. Learn to laugh. Laughing actually triggers the same endorphins that are affected by exercise. Watch your favorite movie. If possible, try to find humor in your situation. Get a comedy and watch. Think happy thoughts. A recent study found that people who learn to have more optimistic attitude are less likely to become depressed, even if they were naturally pessimist. 
Changing the way you perceive life can have a dramatic effect on your mental health. You should also eat a happy diet. Eating healthy can help with your mood in general, but there are some foods that can help with serotonin, the chemical in the brain that contributes to happy. Some foods are serotonin enhancers, helping to raise serotonin levels naturally. You can either take those foods or you can take supplements or you can add more B vitamin rich foods to your diet. Food rich in vitamin B includes mackerel fish, cheese, shellfish, spinach, bell pepper, turkey, fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids, saw cherries and eggs. If you lack all these important vitamins, you may be shortening your mind as well as your body. And now still on your diet, stay clear of coffee. While there are many claims for the benefits of coffee, when it comes to depression, it just doesn't mix well. It's true that caffeine will give you a quick boost in your mood, but you're going to come crashing down in a moment. Being exhausted but wired and over-caffeinated doesn't do anything good for the chemicals that regulate the mood, and it can, in fact, affect the serotonin synthesis in your brain by reducing it. And lastly, you have to see a therapist if your depression persists for more than three weeks. Seeing a therapist has a negative connotation in today's society, and I tell you it is a wrong view. Because seeing a therapist can pull you through many hard times. Those peaceful sessions with a therapist can get some weight off your chest. So don't be ashamed to see someone. It is hugely helpful and allows for some much needed relief from your thoughts and emotions. Depression may only happen once in your lifetime or it may come back several times. Major depression usually lasts for weeks or months and it is disabling. It can cause you to lose interest in work, sleep, food, fun, in hanging out and in catch-ups. Treating depression doesn't have to mean hours of counseling or days fueled by pills. Those methods can be effective, but you may prefer natural methods to boost your mood. So, follow these self-care helps and if your depression persists after doing this, see a psychiatrist, a doctor or a therapist. Your body is your responsibility. Take good care of it. All right, so I have Professor Rafa Egato in the studio with me, and he's the um, lecturer I was talking about that. He lectures right here in Nigeria, but he also got schooled in Russia, and he lectured there too before he also came back here to Nigeria to continue his profession as a lecturer. Good to have you on the show. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, at all. Yeah. Okay, so talking about um, studying abroad, and we are going to be counting the cost. Um, recent studies from CBN, in fact, it made headlines. People have been talking about it for like two months now. It says Ni Nigerians in the past 10 years, between 2010 and 2020, was spent about $28.65 billion just to secure. I get admissions into a foreign university. So yes. I heard the money, I'm like, okay, two, eight point six five billion. But I wanted to change it to Nigerian Naira so that it will ring well. And when I did, I wrote it down because there's so plenty. Now we spent uh, we spent about eleven trillion nine hundred and eleven billion two hundred and thirty seven million five hundred thousand in 10 years just to get schooled abroad so first of all <laughs> the money is so much this is bigger than our budget i mean hey <laughs> is it that and nigeria is rated one of the poorest nations in the world yeah so how does this relate are we really this broke as people say because it's not only the rich now that are getting this education, middle, middle class, yeah. teachers, children, yes. they are all going abroad yes. to get their master's degree, even a BSc to yes. further one, one form or the other. Yes. Mm. Yes. So does it mean we are broke or we are pretending to be broke? And what does this amount of money leaving our shores, what does it mean for us as a nation? It is not that we are broke or we are rich. 
is the condition, Nigeria condition, that is pushing people, even going again, getting getting loan, getting what, getting loan to train their children overseas. For instance, a child wants to study medicine. He applied to one university in Nigeria. He must write jump, must have two hands or something in medicine in, in jump. Mm -hmm. 80 percent in pursuing my grade before you can get, 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 get admission. When you get admission, for example, you are not sure of graduating as a medical student. Because the system automatically will frustrate. So, so they design medical department medical department in, in, in Nigeria University to frustrate the genius. You know that you have capacity to, to cater for maybe 100 students after six years. You, you give admission for to 150 students. Mm. I don't mm. indeed, you have you, you create a barrier of elimination. You eliminate these people. As maybe you don't know, pass physics. Oh, at, go go. You didn't pass uh, chemistry. Leave the department. I don't indeed, This 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 student end up going to study microbiology, uh, Greek, and all that. Ask your friends today, they are not in Nigeria. They are not at work today, they are not happy because they wanted, when we invest, when we in school, they wanted to be a medical doctor. Today they are not. But we see it's not the same. If you want to study medicine overseas, you are given the opportunity to study medicine. You are not frustrated, except you frustrate yourself. Hmm. There's an exam. There's an exam. exam that you write to enter university to the medicine overseas. It's something you don't need to you don't need to read up to, to pass. That's that is that is that is, that is and that thing is you write jam in Nigeria University. You don't know where you go to give when you go to start university. And when evaluate when you evaluate give admission you have registered for first year, you don't know where you are going to graduate. Hmm. This is the issue. Apart from that, so we as our lecturers, we are frustrated by the system. You don't give, you can't give your best because what you earn, I don't need to teach to, to teach to that cannot take the it. You see, more of us struggling to ensure that we keep our our, our we will meet, meet up our needs by trying to put our hands in one of the two other things. We have been we have been stuck for how many how many how many, how many, how many days now? How many how many weeks? For single face, a problem we have, we have tried to solve since 2019. So it's an issue. So it is known that maybe people, uh, people stop. I, I thought that was in Ukraine. Uh, I, I met some of some, some Nigerians. 90% of students I met in Ukraine, they are studying medicine. Wow. Boys, get, you go and see outside lady. I was the first time I've seen outside lady. Not, not, not plenty of them. Study medicine in Ukraine. The reason is that the cost of studying medicine in private university in Nigeria is more than going to Ukraine to study medicine. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you. Are you serious? Yes, quote me. The way they design the university is they have medical university, only for medical pharmacy and all that, others. Mm. I'm happy now that we have it in Nigeria, now, like uh, Odili. You must see, uh, they have one. They have on on the on the state. It's money for medical, no engineering, no other courses. Medical university. They have, they have it. Plenty in Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, and all those former Soviet Union. They ha have it, and they are affordable. Hmm. Apart from that, the crowd I'm talking about. They have, for example, they have two year, two two type of two admission in two year in a year. Cedeba and Fembar admission. In what in, 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 in Cedeba admission, they can have up to about 20 groups. Each group have 50 students. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. So you don't have more than 15 students in a class to teach. Wow. Yes. I was talking to our dean, one of our dean, one time I just came out. Because at the have we do mathematics, physics, chemistry. I said, my dear, why are we failing uh, 
failing physics, chemistry, and mathematics. You know that? Look, the problem we have with the crowd. We have more than 500 students in the class. How will they pass? <laughs> you went to university of Benin. I, 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 I did. So, that's how will they pass? <laughs> you are teaching students, they are, there's a market behind you. Mm. How will they pass? If you segment it into smaller group, come on, see, these students, they are not done. I can tell you for free. They are not done. But when you have somebody will be talking to, to, to teach in the class, people behind, they are not hearing, they don't hear what he's saying. How would they pass? They are not done. That's the truth. I can, I can tell you that. But the condition, we are, that's why we do very, very well in OVC. Your teacher, your teacher, they know you. One, one. They know you. Look, my sister, when I was in Nigeria, let me ask one question. You should remember what I asked question. Let me ask this question. <sighs> no, do you know the difference between class and lecture? No. Because when I then went for my PhD, I don't know the difference between class and lecture. I never knew in Nigeria. In lecture time, they will come and teach you. They will teach you. And I have, when I was doing a course in PhD, PhD, you have some courses you will take. Philosophy, like somebody also who is engineering, mathematics, and all that. Higher mathematics, you know. They will tell you how you have lecture, lecture, class. I don't know what is the difference between this and this. Lecture, lecture, the teacher will come and teach you. Then the class interaction. Oh. Yes, talk with you. It is not the same lecture that that teacher taught you class. They take, take, take your particular lecture. They will come and do interaction with you. That will call class. Wow. They have this in their timetable. So the model is just the way that. Apart from that, how many courses? You should be taking all about 10 courses, 15 courses, hmm. no, 10 courses, hmm. 9, 8 courses. No. Few courses. And I'll be able to know. Yes. I used to say, somebody who is studying medicine, you do not need everything in physics. There are some area of physics that, that is peculiar to medicine. They call it medical physics. Mm. They teach in year one. They have medical chemistry in year one. Is there anything you do with chemistry that a medical student needs? No. So we must learn how to. Those are the things. So when you now have a. I know, as I said, in my interview, you don't ask some, some, lady, some boys and girls, what are you going to a lady said he was not I, when, I, when we leave, she said he was not coming to Nigeria. Ha. So I now asked her, why are you not come to Nigeria? He said her parents borrowed money to send her here. Oh dear. And as she's working in Ukraine, I'm paying the loan the money. and taking care of the family at home. And schooling. And schooling. She pays $4,500 every year for, his, for her um, school fee. Exclude accommodation. So these are the things we have. It's not as if that we have the most so Nigerian system refused to work. Every other language. From the upside, look at what happened yesterday. Football. <laughs> from Monday is how the key people. I told you from I I heard that I will listen. From Zoparosa to LV, we spent twenty two hours. Or train. Kanuna Tabuja is less than about two hours. She people came and blew up. So so many things, so many things are, we have so little done with us. So people are just trying to see. Okay, if my son wants to study engineering, he's not given admission to study engineering in Unibe. He's not given admission to study the military diploma. And somebody say, come from to uh, Ukraine. And engineering is cheaper in Ukraine than Messi. Maybe three two thousand two thousand dollars a year. Who will go and struggle to get, get the money and get paid? True. Yes. And how many years? Four years. Four years you are, you have the bacalava. They call it the bacalava, BSc. Then if you add another year to it, you have a master's degree. They call it, uh, call it, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, specialization. Well, five years here, plus. Minor strike. Or? Minor strike. <laughs> you have the first degree. So those are the so people want to exploit and exploit what's happening to see and uh, 
the go all out yeah, 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 show. Yeah, yeah, so it's not a matter of being broken. No, it's not a matter being broken. No, these okay. are just players that players are trying to give their what the, the best thing for the legacy you can for children's education. Sure. So, okay. Not that you are being frustrated. What is study medicine? You are frustrated. What is study electrical engineering? You can say go study uh, history. <laughs> so, so, so. Okay, now that, that one was very loud. Yes. Engineering to history. Yes. Yeah, okay, you know, our president um, during one of his trips gave a statement, made a statement. You know, we whenever our president talks, the youths are all over Twitter talking about whatever he says. And so the latest update was he said Nigerians are very competitive abroad. They are, they, they, they give the white people run for their money because before they even left Nigeria, they were properly educated. Our education system is on point, and that's why we are competitive abroad. And now, the questions that kept arising in the social media was, is it that we are properly educated or our education system is so tough, we are just tough. So when we get abroad, it seemed like what they are giving to us, we've been chewing stones, and now you're giving us bread. So it's not because they taught us so well. They've taught us to struggle. So do you really think our education system is so good? That's why we're competitive abroad. <sighs> when we say education is so good, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but this is my view. My view, I have to say both sides. OK. Like in the this is where, where, we, where, um, where I, I was in uh, I did my first degree in surveying and geoformatics from UN. I did my master's degree in civil engineering, you still have been here. I specialized in water resources and environmental engineering. I went overseas to have a PhD in geodesy and geometric engineering. What I discovered there is that they say this one is television. You go and bring it, you see it. They will show how is this is your printed. You understand? Mm. They will say, okay, this is something that can produce this. They will take it to the lab. I'll show you how it works. In that case, you don't have to memorize anything to know what that machine is used for. Yeah, you've seen it. But here, we don't have it. In most cases, we cram and pass because we don't have it. You know? When I left my PhD, when I graduated my, from my university, the, my dean, my professor called me when I was there. He said, Look around. We have a new equipment now. They call it laser scanner, a new one. You were not here. But I will do a PG. We don't, we, don't have it. we don't have it one now. Can you come anytime so I will teach you how to use it? I'm not paying for it. Anytime you have time doing conference, I'll arrange the, the, the engineer that will come and teach you how to use it. So when I went, I had extra knowledge. Um, knowledge, knowledge. For yeah, free. Yeah. Yes, for free. They gave me the software, how to process it. Did, we did example, how to do less as the last kind of. So this is, this is, this is, this is because the mathematics and the science, we have it here. You have, you have been taught how to do this, but the ap ap practical application, which is the key, we don't have it. If you have it, they're obsolete. So, these are, if you, you need to, if you visit their laboratory, you know that you are in university. Okay, it's true that Nigerians are actually competitive yes. abroad. Yes, yes, yes. But what's the reason? Huh? What do you think is the Nigeria, major reason? Nigeria, we, are, we, are, we are smart. You know that. Okay. But we are smart. The white man, I, I, I took exam with them. You know, we sat and say, can I go do my PhD exam? Because in university, even, my, even before you take PhD class, you do PhD class exam. I did. You do PhD final exam. I did. They're not better than us. They're not better than us. I, I know. But I have more encouragement. You understand? Mm -hmm. They don't kill knowledge. If you do a research, wherever you stop, they expect somebody to take over. But that little knowledge again, you gain, they, you gain from it. They will expand on it. Before you know it, they say they have discovered this. Mm -hmm. But here, 
if we see somebody progressing, we bring him down. Oh, say so you're doing rubbish. We, when we review paper, I did something that my, my information was correct. He called me to order. When I get, got there, because I can speak English, so he now asked paper reviewer to send him, because he's a Russian, they don't, they don't speak English, that I have a PhD student who is, a, who is an English person. Send me paper so I can help you to review it. They sent three papers to him in English language. He asked me to review it. That was my year, second year in my PhD. I did it. You know, the Nigerian mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, try to correct this country. You just say, no, 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 no. He said, no, 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 this is how to review paper. You are discouraging this man. He said, let me tell you, this man has a lot of things he cannot, he cannot put on the ground. Put, put here. On paper. So, encourage him. He said, well, you don't reject paper. He told me, you don't reject publication. Because for you to say, for you to sit down and write four pages to publish, he it's a lot of time and energy. So please go ahead and eat food. I was ashamed of it. <laughs> so I went back. I don't look at it, you know, the way he has told me and say, yes, it's the way, the way you do it. But here. Throw the paper away. You throw it away and they don't know nothing, nothing, nothing. They have not produced one thing. Nothing. Nothing. I remember uh, having the discussion with an engineer, a, a fresh graduate though, and was talking about um, coding, yes. which I still don't understand, but he was trying to explain it to me. And then I said, the lecturers who taught you coding, yes. do they code? Do they know how to say a beggie? Say small, small boys can do coding. The lecturers, many of them, they read about these things. They don't know how to apply it because as at when they went to school, this was not what was in vogue. Yes. Many of them have not gone back to upgrade. Yes. Say so really. So yeah, so an average Nigerian is still looking for how to use typewriter to do affidavits. People are talking coding abroad. I beg forget that thing. You know, it, it made me feel bad, but I think it's the truth he was talking about. Yeah. But then again, let's talk a little bit about education inequality that is very rampant abroad. We're all trying to go abroad to get educated and all of that stuff, but Many people do not talk about the rejections we also face. You're a graduate from a Nigerian university with all the tough and struggle, tough um, environment you had to stay, even mm. the hostels are not conducive, you struggled so hard, you come out with a 2-1 or even a 2-2, mm. and you want to further abroad, you want to go for a master's. A lot of these countries will reject your, your, your application. They're telling you you're not good enough. But you are more intelligent than their students. You're applying for uh, an admission. They know you were colonized by Britons, meaning English should be your first, one of your, your first language. A school is rejecting you because you don't have IELTS. Yes. Why do I need English tests if it is obvious that I was colonized by Britain? So we speak English in my country. Everyone in the world knows a Nigerian an educated Nigerian speaks English language. We understand, we can write. Why should I write this English test? I think, what, what should we do about this education bias that is so strong over there? Why can't I have a BSc in Nigeria and get a job as a BSc older abroad? Why must I have to also go to school there before I am recognized? This is education inequality, I just said. Mm. Now they look at they look at our curriculum. In the first instance, when last did we review the curriculum? Hmm. To review a curriculum, so I had no, I know some department have not reviewed the curriculum since that's something. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? Yes. That's you do the old, 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 old thing that I don't know. I don't know how to measure in any, any department. You cannot come to do the same thing. The, the world is way. changing. You have to be, to, to even to even update to do or to update curriculum. It's very difficult. They, they, they make it all difficult in Nigeria University. I don't understand. Whereas there is 
It's not what you do your update every 18 years. But they will subject you to a lot of protocols. But our coding, when we were in the Boston, we coding is programming. We, we did for turn basic. Mm. In, basically, in, uh, now we don't have a Pascal, uh, a lot of things, we have a Python, uh, Visual Basic, and so all that. Many. So many. So many. So, like I did, I have, when I left the US, I have Zalan in Visual Basic. You know? Because part, uh, uh, Basic and uh, Fortran that we, we used to write, they're obsolete. You said, when I was doing my, when I, when I, when I do my PhD, I have to learn in uh, MacLab. I have to add a code MacLab. So I can do my, do my, my analysis. So there are people, we are, we are, we are, if you don't have equivalent university curriculum, you can compete with it. Okay. Because they will ask for your transcript, for instance. Look at the subject you have done. And vis-a-vis -vis with what they have. And if they're on the same, you have issue for admission. Okay. You understand? Even oversee themselves. For example, if you are transferring from one university to another, they look at the curriculum. Yes, what have you not done? And what have you, what you have done? Then you know they can ask you to do exemption in some courses you have done. Is that what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. But I'll be surprised. I'm, sur I, I'm surprised. To, to be candid, when a, a, a British man asked me to, that I need, he need, I need to have ILCS. ILCS to study English. <laughs> I, 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 I've, been to, I've been to UK several times. They speak, I understand. And I, I, I interact with them too. I was doing, I was doing one program, uh, I just completed one program in uh, Atlanta University, uh, I think Atlanta International University in, in the US. A uh, portfolio program. So what I have I finished the coursework, finished the, the thesis. What what could it mean? Is the fee? Is the fee? Is the mm. fees? What about the agreement? The agreement When I apply, they ask me for this question. This is another acting. And I reply that I have a DSc in English, a master's degree in English. Though my PhD was in Russian language, I'm teaching. I'm teaching in Nigeria University. Well, exactly. English. What do you mean by this? If you cannot offer the admission to me, because we're all that program, you can't, can't get it to go. It asked, okay, send, send, they asked me to send my, my transcript to them, which I did. You know, that Russia, it was a Russian language I sent to them. So I was offered that admission. So, and uh, I did it. So this is, the, I'm surprised, but it, it didn't depend on the little, what, what, is, what is our government doing about it? What are they doing about it? How can, how, this is, Discrimination. In a very How can large you way. Ask me to say to uh, I, I grew up learning in English, primary school, secondary school up to this level. I don't know. I, I, I can write Russian language anyway. I, I don't. I can't write Benin. I can't write Russian language. Benin language. Wow. I cannot. I want to talk with you, but you don't ask me. I go to UK. So I need to go at the other English again. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. But all the same, it's not all university anyway. So basically, don't really. Bother. Some don't ask. Yes, yes it's yes. true. No the issue of having two one and two two uh, grade, I don't, I don't, I do not understand. But if for a master's degree, a minimum of two two is enough to guarantee you, ad to guarantee you admission anywhere in the world. That's my view. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's really sad when a Nigerian is subjected to several English tests because they want to relocate abroad. There are schools that will have exemption countries, but not all schools do. And when it's not school related, you just want to relocate maybe permanently. You begin to see here statements like, um, you're banned in the IELTS. If, like, you're not just only writing the IELTS, there is a score you should get. I think uh, I heard not less than seven or 7.5 or something. You must score extremely high. What am I proving? I speak English. I'm going to go to the embassy. You will interview me, yes. and I will communicate with you. Yes. Why don't you judge if I can speak it or not? In fact, <laughs> what is our government doing about it is the question. So I did write a few of the information we need to know.
Now, um, in the past 10 years, according to CBN, Nigerians have spent 11 trillion, 911 billion, 237 million, 500,000 naira relocating abroad to study. Then, according to ICF Monitor on BBC.com, they said 100,000 Nigerians traveled in the year 2020 to go, 2021, sorry, to go study abroad. 100,000 Nigerian youths, let me, let me specify, it's not old people, that went to study abroad. And God forbid there's a, a problem in Nigeria, there's a crisis in Nigeria. You know, the powerhouse of the nation is actually the youths, and they are living in large numbers. And the intelligent ones too, the educated ones are the ones living more. All right, now, they said there was a 63.5% increase in youths applying to study in the UK for the 2020-2021 academic session. This one was even with COVID-19 crisis, so people were still applying to travel abroad. 63.5%, not 10% increase, 63.5%. We also have um, a statistic that says over 12,860 Nigerian students are enrolled in over 1,000 institutions in the U.S. Then, uh, monitor IC, uh, ICEF monitor also says um, the Nigerian students in Canada were about 2,828 in the year 2009. But as at 2019, they had about 11,000 985. I don't want to talk about 2020, and by the end of this 2022, only God knows what the statistics will be. Now, major countries where Nigerians are running to are Canada, UK, Germany, Finland, um, Ukraine. Australia, Ukraine. 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 A lot of Nigerians are there, there a right? Lot, a lot. And these are the top schools. Now, in this school's tuition fee, especially for those who are doing maybe a master's or an MBA, ranges from between $11,000 to $45,000, even a diploma. Some of these diplomas are two years, like we also have diplomas in Nigeria, but we're talking over $40,000 US dollars. Some of the schools are cheap. Like Prof just said, schools in Ukraine are quite cheap when you compare to private universities in Nigeria. Yeah. But if we're converting this money to Nigerian Naira, we're talking about from maybe 7 million Naira to about 18 million Naira roughly to get educated abroad. So these are informations you should know. For those who are thinking they want to go study, you need the largesse. You need to know if you have it. But now this is going to lead me to some of the things those who are trying to go abroad to study should be prepared for. You went abroad. You went to a country where they don't even speak English. Yes. And the way of life there is obviously different from ours. So how did you handle the cultural shock? And what are some of the other things an average Nigerian is going to stay abroad to study should be expecting that will be very different from Nigeria and not in a positive way? We know there's going to be lights. We don't have lights. But there are other things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you ask, where I studied in, in Siberia, Siberia is the east of Russia. Okay. From uh, Moscow to Siberia, so my the city I studied, they call it uh, Novosibirsk. Novosibirsk means New Siberia. That is mean translated in English. It's about four hours, 30 minutes flight from Moscow. Okay. So, and then. Um, when I arrived in the city, one of the things that, that gave me encouragement was that because I, I have not been, I, have, I, 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 I Nigeria to, 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 my flight was Nigeria to Dubai, to, Dubai to, to, to Moscow. But I have never flew a, in a, any country where I will be in flight for one hour. Because from here to anywhere in Nigeria, for anywhere in Nigeria, if one, if one hour you are already there. Yeah, there. So at the time, I said, where am I going? Are you sure this plane is not going to drop me in a, a different my, country? <laughs> you know, because after about uh, 4 or 30 minutes, four, 4 hours, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, they said we were about London. So when we landed, and uh, I saw one white man with beers holding a uh, black card. A black card, yeah. Black card, yeah. Written my name. So I walked home. And eventually, I was only black then. 
Donc, non, that is it. So, that black is the plan. Okay, black. So, okay, God. So, I got there. He took me. So, I said, Professor, Professor, say this. Come to wait for me at the airport. No, it's strange now. Very strange. <laughs> so, yes, you say, suppose that he's going to be my teacher in English, in a Russian language. So, he head of the Department of Language and Language Study. He waited for me at the airport. Himself and his son, who can speak little, little, little English. So I cannot speak English. He, 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 I can't speak Russian. He cannot speak English. So that is so I entered his vehicle and took me to the hostel. And then uh, when I got to the hostel, I met two Egyptians. They are white. They can't even speak English, but they just manage. So I have to get on with them, you know. And um, then in the city where I was, were very few blacks. We know ourselves. I know one guy, Jude, he's a Nigerian, a Yoruba guy, then Mike, a Yoruba guy, and a few Cameroonians. We know ourselves. So I remember one day I went to the market with those teacher friends. A lady, they saw me and looked at me and said, held my hand. They called that God, how are you black? This is the affair too. Mm. They, are, they are white. Exactly. So he looked at my hand, compared with, her, with my palm. They called this line, I have. I'm going to have it. She went, she said she's coming, went to the a shop, bought a white handkerchief. This is a fluid, uh, uh, sorry, one fluid, uh, the material spirit fluid, to see if I clean my skin. It's a lie. I don't, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so joking. funny. <laughs> yes. So, she so now said that, he said he has never seen a black, touch a black woman before. And it was funny. So, they have to arrange my lecture in my hostel. But each time I get to school, everybody will abandon what they are doing. I said, look, I was the first black <laughs> in that university. First. I can imagine where you are. So, you look like me. So, the, day, the first day I got there, the, 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 the vice chancellor requested they want to see me. He came to, uh, one lady, one Anna, came to pick me from my, from my room. He said, this is the first time he's, he's walking out with a black man. The black man speaks English. So we go to the hostel. We go to the, uh, the university. Immediately, I step my foot to the, to the, to the premises. Everybody said, oh, 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 who is this? I went to the university office, sat down with him, we talked. The whole world was, was rowdy. Seeing the black man. Me, I, was, I was afraid, you know. I was, what's up? What, what, what is this? Exactly. So, even after that first encounter, so they said they have to put my, my, my lecture in the hostel. They arranged for a place for us to be, because I was the only one learning the language. The next day, when the, when the, but because the hostel, the hostel is missed. Not to have a, a white, white a black bus here or guests here, no. Everybody in the same host. Oh dear. Maybe in the eight, our floor was, our, our building was about 10, about, about 18 story building. So everybody, there, all bus and guests were in the host. My room was like a museum. They were coming to see a black man. Open. So it was funny, you know. So that is, that is, that is, and uh, mm. when I speak language, I try to enjoy myself. At the time, I said there's only come to Nigeria, you know? <laughs> so I enjoy myself because language from Bahia, I try to learn language, I can speak, I cannot go, go on my own the street. I can interact, if you ask me a question, I can, I can, I can, I can answer you. So then I had more friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, and sometimes they will call me, oh, come, uh, she won't, she won't, she won't not be at this That is, they say, uh, they say one well, of the they say Slava Boga, Svodna uh, They thank God to this Friday. Let's go to the club. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun. And, and my roommate, uh, my roommate is Russian. He understands a little English. Every, every Friday, he says, come, let's go and let's go and waste, waste, waste um, a while away time in uh, the club. Go there with him, with his friend, you know. That's all. And it was nice and the uh, Really, really, really good, and I never saw any any form of uh, racism. Um, you know, they, 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 you can avoid that. Okay. You you be coming like this. 
a white lady or white man look up. When you see the children, also. Well, those are just some racists among them. But they, that city I was, the racist, this is, uh, they're very nice people. Okay. Nice, nice people. Lord, they love people. They love strangers. They want to assist you, they want to help you. They love strangers. You know, not like in Moscow. Ah, oh, well, when, when, when I was in Moscow, I discovered that the way they try to help in the city I was, and when I go to, I go to, I go to Moscow, it's different thing. So when I start interacting, asking the question, come to the embassy, the, 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 it's Nigerians that have destroyed the name of, of blacks. That they, they do not think misbehave. So when they see you, they believe that all of you are the same. Hmm. So, but we, I've got a few, we are, I don't know how it, how it is now, but it should be a very, very peaceful um, Place. city where you can go anytime, anytime you look, anywhere you want. If you have any issue, you don't have a problem. Okay. Yeah. Now, one of the major things, um, costs, apart from the financial costs, we also are losing human resource. Um, there's a lot of brain drain because of this trend of traveling abroad to study. Okay. Now, when they apply in the embassies, they say they are going to study and their families are here, but most times, many of them don't come back. There are those one in a very few number that yes. came back yes. to Nigeria after staying there. I will tell you why. Okay, so. Well, I came back because I was married and I have family here. Mm. If I was not committed, there's, there's no need. I'm a family from. If I was not committed, I don't have family here. If I was young, that. You know, I was not married before going. I don't need to come back Nigeria. What am I doing? Because here, you, there, you don't think of it. Don't, you don't think of what, 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 what to eat. But, but you could relocate with your entire family. No, no, no. I, no. I, I, it is not a. There's one other thing that, that I'm able to relocate with my family. The type of life they live there, the kids, they don't like it. Okay. You see a boy of 10 years old, he's already smoking. You ask him, oh boy, why are you smoking? He said, I know that it's not good. But I want to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what you will say that I So I don't like that kind of uh, mm. life. So I feel that I should bring up my. But if I was not married, and I would have, no, I would have. There was no need for me to come here. Okay. Because there are so many beautiful guests that somebody can. Uh, oh dear God! I can't believe yeah, you just said that. I'm the only person. I want my friends that went out and didn't marry white. Wow. All of them, Mike, Jude, everybody, they are married. So, I'll be one of them, all of them, huh. that we're together at the Cameroon that we know. But, you know. but is there anything we can do to, to make our people come back? Because really, it, yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah. cool. No, they are, they're there, they're sending us money, we're building houses, but no, we're yeah, going to be losing the, the best the of our hands. Is, uh, is, is, you might not have enough no money, you know, but, but you're comfortable. We're not thinking of Nepal light. We don't look at what to eat. We're not, we're not thinking of anything at all. Don't have anything, anything to stop your mind. Nothing. You, can, you go to work or you go to school, and that's it. You can walk anytime, 24 hours, no, nobody, nobody, nobody stops you. You can travel from one city to another, either by train or by, or by taxi. No, we don't have any issue. So here, we have a lot of problems disturbing us. A lot of problems. You can't look at what happened there on Monday, on the train. Do work it. If you are traveling to Lagos, you have to be sure that you are traveling between... A certain time certain of the time. day. Where they kidnap you. You can see the more attack uh, 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 at, uh, at, uh, at uh, the Karakaduna. Uh, uh, that was, it, that was a, a day before, the, uh, the, 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 the Sunday, on that Tuesday, I don't know. No, today is last uh, Sunday. I was told that the, the bandit uh, uh, came to the airport. And I, I, I was told that someone, one of them, someone was killed. I don't know, I don't know what that is true. But I was still doing the nah, But it was all videos. So, Nigeria is not safe at all. Apart from that, when you leave the university, you don't have a job. No don't know where to work. You never see. You can have, you have, you have something to do that will bring food to your table. Like you, you to want to work, you don't work for them. They want. 
And even though what is our working, but what is our salary compared to the economic situation of the country? We have instability in every facet of the economy. So this that is that, that the things. So if you if if I have a job, if I'm in the UK, I have a job. I receive 100, uh, 12, or 12 pounds per hour. Is it? Mm. And I work for 10 hours a day. 120 pounds. What is 120 pounds? How much Nigeria money? Hmm. That's more than 60,000 a day. Yes. If you if, if remove tax, or that, let's say we have 50,000 a day. What, what for five days? How much is that? 250. And a month? One so, million. So this is this is this is the this is, this is, this is, so you better go there and and what is the cost of of uh, living? Very cheap. How to see? I was I left Russia two thousand thirteen. Came Nigeria. Chicken with hand and leg. That's Russia chicken. With the remove the instant uh, sound. It's five hundred naira Nigeria money because hold it robbery. When I went back to 2019, we saved 500 naira. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chicken that you I can't, you can't go, and, uh, go and buy uh, uh, chicken lap in, uh, in Mr. Beast or mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They will see 12,000 of you. So that, and this chicken you are, you are seeing here, that means this chicken, where would they, would they, you don't buy this one in, uh, in Russia. In, in, you don't buy those chicken. If you see lack of chicken, you know that this is chicken, not the one we are seeing here. We're fed, robust. So the, the style of living here is high, and you don't just get what you want. OK. So let's, let's not even begin to say, how can we fix bringing them back? So if the economy is not fixed, we should remove our mind that people are going to be returning. No, listen, if they return, where are they going to work? Who will give them a job? OK. If you set up, if you set up a business, you leave your sister out, your brother there. They come, they come through with that business for you. I know. I used to have, I used to have a, 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 a factory of particular water. I know that my wife is not there. My manager was fat, was putting on with me. I was losing with <laughs> But my manager, my manager did wedding twice. Uh -uh. Me, the owner. When I was in the class, what do you say? Oh, sorry, uh, bro. Today, um, road safety had them. Today, put his head there. Okay, where are, you? where are you? I'm coming to meet you. No, we have settled the matter. The, and the two, all avenue to save money. Any time they call me, I know the bad news. I told my wife, I think I better be alive now, according to how this kind of sickness. Mm. This kind of a while. I have to stop. So, we, that time, I was very happy because I was empowering so much more. Some ladies or who well, helped to feed bottles or boys working for me. Penis and I was very happy. A time came. I was not getting an assault. I don't get the money from that source to come to feed to to, 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 to feed to take care of them. Yes. So it's of course somebody is just there trying to run it down. Run it down. Mm, it's okay. You know what? <laughs> if we're gonna talk about the benefits of going abroad, I, I think it's it's just a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. And it's a trend, and I don't see it um, reducing anytime soon. Nigerian youth are still going to keep going abroad as far as they are willing to have them. There's always a Nigerian who's willing to go. Yeah. Even in the crisis in Ukraine, youths were going to the embassy to say, we want to go and fight. Yes. We don't know if they are really going to get to Ukraine, but because you eventually have to get into Ukraine through land borders. So when you get to Adrian, neighboring countries, maybe the Nigerians will get missing, spoil our reputation even more, but they don't care. Yeah. They just want to hustle. They want to feed. They want to take care of their homes. Well, let's do all. All hands should be on deck to fix our society, our economy, so that we don't lose the best of our hands. The most intelligent doctors are leaving Nigeria to work abroad. So when we that are left here fall sick, who then takes care of us? The best lawyers are leaving to go practice abroad. When we have a case, who defends us? The best lecturers are going there, doing their page and staying there. Who then teaches us? What are we going to benefit if we let the youth keep living or the best of our hands so let all hands be on deck to fix our society so that we don't lose 
what God has naturally blessed us with in abundance. I'm Daisy Lira Sikidi. We'll be back again next week with another interesting discussion on Flipside. Bye.